Hello, this is the chapter seven yield percent written practice problems to prepare you for the culinary math exam. So you're gonna use the screencast to check your work for these three problems that you practiced. All right, so let's get started. You will be referencing the uh, yield percent triangle for the formulas and the steps to help you and the information learned in the slides. So make sure you have your culinary math book open. So problem number one, the yield percent listed in the textbook for broccoli is 63%. What are three circumstances in which yield percent might vary? So we would like to say that the universal yield percent for broccoli is 63%. This is going to change. And there are some variables that you have to be very aware of to make sure that you take them into consideration. So first off, variations in freshness and quality. So when you buy broccoli, the fresher the broccoli, the higher quality broccoli crowns and uh, stalks that you buy, they might yield a higher percentage of actual edible usable portions, okay? Well, if you're buying lower quality broccoli, maybe discounted broccoli, because it's it's going to be older, um, it doesn't, it's going to wilt quicker, okay? You might not get as much edible portion from that broccoli, uh, so that's going to change your yield percent. Then your preparation method. They're going to vary so much depending on how you cook them. It's going to impact the yield, the finished product. So for example, if you steam broccoli, you're going to have a lot more consumable broccoli than if you boil or fry it because there is less moisture loss when you steam, okay? Because it's like really fresh. It's like eating fresh broccoli, okay? And then last but not least, cutting and trimming. That is definitely going to affect the, the yield because it's it depends on the skill level of the person doing it. If you have a novice that's never cut broccoli down before, they might cut out a lot of the edible portion. So if, if more of the stock is trimmed away or if the florets are cut smaller, this is going to lead to a lower yield. So it's important that you train, that you are trained on how to cut things or you are training your employees so you are not losing out on edible food because that's lost, lost money essentially. All right, the next question. Problem number two, you are making a star fruit salad using star fruit or fruit salad using star fruit. You purchase six star fruits, uh, each weighing 50 ounces. After cleaning the fruit, you are left with 3.6 ounces of trim. And what's your yield percent? So you're going to go back to your uh, triangle, which has the EPQ divided by APQ times yield percent. So you have in this situation, you have the information to put the EPQ over top the APQ, and then um, it will give you the yield percent. So let's break it down. So first you need to calculate the total weight of the star fruits you've purchased. So that's gonna give you your APQ, um, which is six, and each one, each six star fruits, each weighing 50 ounces. So you're gonna take six times 15, and you're gonna have a total of 90 ounces of um, APQ. That's gonna go on the bottom. After cleaning the fruit, you're left with 3.6 ounces of trim, okay? So 3.6 ounces of trim after six star fruits, so that's from all six. So you're gonna take 3.6 ounces times by six, and that's gonna give you 21.6 total ounces of trim, okay? So now you can break it down. Um, you're gonna calculate um, by subtracting the trim weight from the total weight, um, so usable fruit, is going to equal the total weight minus the trim. So you're gonna take 90 total ounces, because that's how much you purchased, minus 21.6 ounces, that's your tr total trim, and you have 68.4 ounces of usable edible fruit, okay? So that is going to be your edible quantity, okay? Now you're gonna do your yield percent, so you're gonna apply it to the formula. Um, so to do that, it is usable fruit, divided by total weight times 100 because you're looking for a percent. So you put in, you'll put in your numbers from um, the left side, 68.4 ounces, that's your usable edible total amount of star fruit, divided by 90 because that's your as purchased amount, um, and then multiply by 100 and you get 76% um, yield percent for your star fruit for the salad. And then your last problem for chapter seven, number three, you purchase 30 heads of garlic. Each head weighs two and a half ounces. After cleaning the garlic, you have nine ounces of trim. What's your yield percent? So kind of the same setup. 
you need to first determine how much total garlic you have in ounces. So you're going to calculate the total weight, um, your as purchased amount. So 30 heads of garlic, each one, as it says, weighs two and a half ounces. So you're going to multiply the two together and you have 75 total ounces of as purchased garlic. Okay. Then after cleaning it, you have nine ounces of trim. So same thing. You are going to nine ounces of trim total. So it's a little confusing because in the first one, it was per star fruit. And in this one, it's total ounces of all of all the trim. Okay. So I, so it, you really got to read the problem again, ask for clarification if you get confused. So you are going to take your usable, um, garlic. 75 ounces minus the nine ounces of trim, and you get 66 ounces of total edible garlic, okay? And then you are going to put that into the formula. So 66 ounces usable garlic or edible garlic divided by the APQ, um, which is the amount you purchased, 75 ounces. So 66 divided by 75 times 100 to get your full percent. Um, and you get 88%. So the yield percent for your garlic purchase is approximately 88%. Again, reference the uh, formula triangle, read the steps, ask your teacher for clarification if you need it.